In this video, I'm going to be covering the mount scoring system with HiveMapper. Starting with why they made this change, then I'll get into how your mount score will impact your rewards, as well as how you can use the app to position your dash cam correctly. Then I'll give you some tips on how to actually physically mount your dash cam, as well as the secondary mount that I personally use and highly recommend. Followed by that, I'll show you where you can actually see your mount score in the app. And then if you're a fleet manager, the process that I use to keep an eye on the different mount scores of the different drivers in my fleet. And lastly, uh, following this change, I'm going to show you how I'm handling situations where I have a front and a side mount dash cam in order to maximize my rewards. Before I get started, please do click that subscribe button in the bottom corner there and like and comment. Well, the reason they put this into place is really to tie the rewards to the amount of value you're bringing to the network. And all that comes down to the quality of the imagery that you're collecting. So you know, if your dash cam is pointed too high at the sky or you're pointed down too far and getting too much of the road or your dashboard of your vehicle in the frame of view, that imagery is frankly not very valuable. So what they've done is they've implemented a scoring system where you're rated anywhere from one to four stars. So a one out of four would be a very poor mount. A four out of four would be a perfect mount. Now, originally, they had it set up that a one out of four would get zero rewards, a two out of four would get 25%, three out of four, 75%, and a four out of four perfect mount would get 100% of the eligible rewards. They did amend that because I think they were finding that there were still some very good mounts getting three out of four. So what they did is they changed it so that the three out of four, instead of getting 75%, were still eligible to get the on-target rewards. Now, if you you have a four out of four, you're actually eligible for additional rewards above and beyond the on-target rewards. So I think the thought process there is they wanted to kind of spread the gap between that two and that three, and also make it so that if you're a three out of four, you're not really getting penalized, if that makes sense. So as far as positioning your dash cam, you can actually go into the Hive Mapper app. You have to be connected to the dash cam to do this, but you go to the bottom left tab, you'll see there are a couple buttons you can click on there. One is check tilt and one is check view. So if you go to the check tilt, Essentially, there's going to be two lines there, and it's going to allow you to line up that dash cam so you don't have too much sky or too much ground, and pretty self-explanatory. If you go to the check view, there's going to be a rectangle there, and basically it's going to show you, you know, what area needs to be clear so you don't have any obstructions that are entering that frame of view inside that rectangle. Now, if you can get that perfectly aligned across both, you should be eligible for a four out of four. Now, as far as positioning the dash cam, I would highly recommend getting this secondary mount. I think it's much better than the one that comes with the dash cam and then I tend to do a side mount so you'll notice there are threads all around the dash cam I use the side thread and then I extend the mount arm all the way so what this allows you to do is get a little bit higher up on the windshield I have found that that allows you to get a much better vantage point and you're a lot less likely to get too much hood in the frame of view also it will allow you to get the dash cam a lot closer to the windshield so I've found that the closer you can get it to the windshield the better it's a lot more likely to reduce glare and again just get a better frame of view for you now your mount score is going to update on a weekly basis and there's a couple of different places you can look to see what your mount score is for an individual contributor, if you're in the Hive Mapper app and logged into your account, go to the bottom right tab, you'll see at the top there, there are some stars. So again, you'll see anywhere from one to four stars. Now, if you're a fleet manager, what I would recommend doing is going to your fleet management page where all of your drivers are listed, and there's a little icon next to their name. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the driver profile. And from there, you'll be able to keep an eye on that mount score. I would recommend just bookmarking that page for every driver so you can very easily go through and keep an eye on everyone's mount score. Obviously, you're you're going to want to follow this because it can have a pretty drastic impact on the rewards of your fleet. Now, I do expect there will be some fleet tools launched that you can see all this in one spot. But for now, this is the workaround that I'm using. Now, the last thing I want to cover is if you're running two dash cams, a front and a side mount, because in my experience, it can be very difficult to get a perfect score on a side mount. And if you're using one account or one login with one phantom wallet for both dash cams, you could end up getting your score docked because of the side dash cam. And that's going to then impact your reward in the front dash cam. So what I would recommend doing is having a separate account for both. And what that would look like is creating one phantom wallet that you use to log into the high mapper app when you're connected to the front dash cam and then having a separate phantom wallet that you log into the app with for that side dash cam. That way you have two separate scores. So if you can't get that four out of four on the side mount, but are able to get four out of four on the front mount, you'll maximize your reward potential. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, please again, do like, comment, and subscribe. And if you turn on notifications, you'll be alerted when I do post a new video. And I've been a lot more active recently. But as always, I appreciate your viewership. Signing off, this is Bradley Meyer with Deep End Connection.